December 7th marks the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, which led to the United States entering World War II. For local residents, that day is something they will never forget and recall vividly. When Warminster resident Joseph Desch joined the Navy, he found it was like a family. On December 7th, 1941, Desch and his new family went to war. Just then, the planes were coming in off of Oahu, Oahu. They were coming in and the bombs were dropping. So when I ran to my gun station, so we got we got six planes that day. We shot down six planes that day. Six planes that day, yeah. We shot down the plane. We took a hit. We lost a hundred thirty three men you know, that day. Also they were there. They were below deck, they got killed. Eleanor Lentz was seven years old and walking to church with her grandmother. They ran to the church for cover. As we were going to make a laugh, we heard, we heard a noise. And we both looked up and here they were coming from what we call, uh, we call it the south side of uh, where she lived, coming this way to, towards us. Going, and what they were going to do was go straight that way and go to Honolulu, you know. But when we saw that, my grandmother yelled, she says, I, she's Portuguese, she says, I cred, she said, oh my God, that's Japon, which is Japanese in, in Portuguese. We were at the entrance watching. They went right over where we were, right over us. She said she lived in fear from that day until the day the war was over. Luckily, she and her grandmother survived. Years later, as a nurse, in 1961, she was working at a hospital nursery. You come, we take the baby and say, oh, look, mama, mama, they look mama. And in this case, it was look grandma, because the grandmother, the mother was in the bed. She just had the baby. And who was that that I was taking care of? Are you ready? President Obama. Reporting from Chivos, this is William Thomas Kane.